Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. And just like I promised, today we're going to take a look at the defense. Um, yesterday we looked at the offense and saw there were some things that we did a little different, especially to try to impact or lessen the impact of DJ Reader. Uh, today we're going to look at the defense and see, you know, how some of those things translated and, you know, what we did good, what we did bad. And I've watched about half of it. So my initial impression of what we did versus the Bengals Sunday was fly around and hit people. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started. You know, if, if like the video, like it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. There's um, what else I want to say before we get started. I think that's all I want. So I just want to jump into it and get this defense started. Um, so let me get my paper here, and then we can we can ride out. We had 15 possessions. I'm assuming they had something similar. I didn't count their possessions. I'm just trying to keep my pace. Or maybe I'll just pay attention to the, the screen and give you the situations. But initially, you, you, I was surprised by some of the stuff that we did. And mainly what I want to do is highlight it when Joe's ready to throw. All right. Joe's at the point where he's ready to throw. No one's really open. You got this opening here and you got your check down. But no one's per se opening. And also pay attention to the people that have the flats coverage when we're in cover three. Watch how, how hard they get to the flats. It's not bad. Not bad. Keep in mind, Roquan had 16 tackles this game. He was all over the place. All over the place. And we got a lot of pressure with four. That didn't amount to a bunch of sacks. But we got him to move out of his spot. And but Joe can't move. The, the thing the thing about it is is, and I'll save that for my preview. Never mind. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna give you that that dime. So we sitting on that short stuff, sitting on the short stuff, taking a chance. So this right here is um, I want to say it's two man. You got your two safeties back here. Everybody else is manned up, and that's decent position. Now can we can we get pressure with these four since you got this good coverage right here? Can we get pressure with these four to get him down? Okay, you force him out the pocket. Now you got the plaster you got. You got to stick with him. Roquan doing a good job of sticking with his guy. Good job of sticking, sticking. Everybody's stuck with the exception of you got a little space right here between Marlo. And that's the way he went with the ball. But for the most part, for the most part, Everybody stuck to their guy when scramble drill took place, which is what you need. Keep in mind, this is their best versus, for the most part, our best. And I don't know if Peters or Stevens are going to play, but for the most part, these are our defensive guys out there versus their offensive guys. There's the run. Now, what I like about this, Marlowe, he shot the shot. With him just taking, taking that, that chance, Somebody has to be there after Joe Mixon spins and shuffles or whatever to fill that spot. And I think that's what Chuck's going to do. And Chuck's there to kind of, you know, seal it for the rest of them. But that's a good job of Marlo shooting his shot, making him do something different, and the rest of the team bagging him up, having his back. It's just instinctively, just, just took that gap. He just took it. And Chuck was able to, to play the bounce. That's good team defense. And you got real corn in there too. Coming off the edge with Kyle. Not bad. Not bad. One four. Hey, one four play. Plays some good ball too this game. He plays some good ball this game too. Watch. Oh, shoot. God, dog it. Oh, no. I ain't messed up. Thought I messed up. Watch the game they play up here. Watch this game. What it is is he's going to shoot that inside gap right there. He's going to try to cross his face, and you're going to have Kyle coming off the edge. You see, with him taking him, that leaves Kyle to be free because he still got his eyes on Roquan. You still don't see 14 come off the, out the pitch yet. Now you show up. 
Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So you really got to be aware of, of, of Hamilton when he's close to the line of scrimmage. That's one of the benefits of playing a big nickel. Him covering certain people is not one of the benefits. But that is one of the benefits, what you just saw right there. Okay, so this is what I think we're going to have to do. Now, I wish it wasn't Brent Urban. I wish it was And I didn't see it early in the day when I was watching, but I did see it now. I think we're going to have to rush three and have a guy fall back in there for Burrow. I necessarily don't want it to be a defensive tackle, but somebody's going to have to fall back in there for Burrow because we're getting pressure with four. Most of this game, you'll see pressure with four, and you'll see us in position to cover them for most of this game. But when Burrow extends the plays, that's when the stuff go awry. See, right, he's ready to throw. The only person really open is this right here. And I don't know if this is the one that's reads. You got that check down bracketed. And when this is Urban dropping out of there, so Urban just really just mirroring Burrow. But that's covered. That's covered. This is covered. That's covered. Well, I say covered, but at least a play can be made on it. Nobody's running wide open. And you just got to make the sack. You got to finish the sack. Uh, Oway. That's Oway. Just for Oway. See if it act right. Oh, I don't have it on this one. I got it on just me. <laughs> got it on just me. I, I'll make sure I put it on film film studies. So uh, from here on out, the game just can't get him down. I see the Urban can't catch him. That's why I'm saying it got to be some somebody other than Urban. Urban can't catch him. That might be a spot for Malik. This might be a job for Malik. Maybe. Because we get decent pressure. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Did a good job right there. You try the inside move. Got pressure. Just got to finish it. He just got to finish it. That's not a bad job by 99. Just got to finish it. And that, that two whiffs. Is that urban just not fast enough? Let's keep it pushing though. Let's keep it pushing. This is what we did better at. Defending screens. Or key screens or slow screens. We did a, a lot better job at that. Look at Kyle. Look how aggressive Kyle is taking on the point man. The point man is T. Higgins. Watch what Kyle do to him. Slaps smoke from him first. Oh, I'm going to press you. You're not going to press me. I'm going to press you. Then makes the play extend. And gets in on the tackle. That's a great play by 14. It's a great play by 14. He was the aggressor. And then the cavalry came. Them, these boys run to the ball now. You know, I, you know, I was, you know, cracking on them during the round table, but looking at it, you know, getting to see the whole game now, these boys were running to the ball and smacking people. They were running to the ball and smacking folks. That's all you can ask for from a defense. Effort. Effort. Effort to be where you're supposed to be. Now, for some strange reason, they don't run the ball a lot, which I think they could with mixing. But they don't. This is a good job. Like last week, see how Kalea's in there, you know, defending it? That that position right there was getting blowed up. And they were just running through them gaps right there. But good job by Kalea's. I was even I remember watching this earlier. Watch this job by Bowser. Which watch Bowser right here. This is going this is little stuff that don't get a lot of credit for. So what he's gonna do is he's he's gonna surf down with the tackle. The tackle's gonna block down. He's gonna surf down on his hip. Then when he sees the guy coming to to slice. It's like because it's zone, it's a split zone. He collapse, he attacks him with his shoulder and collapses it even more. So when the running back finally gets the ball, he has less less of a surface to run. Just watch how Bowser closes this thing down. The guy that's gonna try to block him is this cat right here that's just coming in the picture. So he right on the tackle, push the tackle down, close that surface, close that surface, close that surface. Now take that on. Now look what look how much of the surface he can close now. All missing guy is anything over here. He don't have nothing backside because Bowser got his outside arm free. So if Mixon tries to bounce it, he can go he can go attack it. He's closed this down to where 
both of these guys are in the same spot. He won't get any credit for this play, but he makes this play. Oh, he does get in on the tackle. He did get in on the tackle eventually. That's a great play. That don't show up in the stat sheet. There ain't no real stat for that. That's just good fundamental football. Good aggressive football. Stuff that go unnoticed. All right. Got a blitz by Queen. Who we dropped out of there? Drop Bowser out. Now, I don't mind dropping Bowser. I'm cool with Bowser. I'm cool with dropping Bowser. Look where he is. Great position. Joe's ready to throw. Really nothing. He probably could lead this out and hit it. Or if this is a curl, sit down in it. But look at the people underneath it to, to make them think about it. You got people underneath those intermediates to make them think about it. Now, I don't know what the outcome of this is. He got this He got this open, but I don't know why he didn't throw it. But we'll take it. He threw the check down. Come on, make the tackle. We'll take it. We'll take it. What's the, what coverage was this? Three deep, like three under. Three deep, four under. So um, uh, some kind of cover three ish look. We're gonna kind of fast forward these end zone looks because they throw the ball a lot. We'll we'll talk about them if it's a run. Or if it's a sack or something like that. Give you a too high look. Yeah, you got two man. Every now and then you got to mix in two man with the man. I love how they talk. So they kind of, this is one of the plays I like. They have a general idea of what the, the Bengals want to do. And watch the communication. Roquan drops back, see that coming, take it. Worley, going to see that coming, and going to damn that picket. Watch, just watch. Worley saw it, jumped it, damn that picked it. But you got everything else covered too still. You got the end route covered. Kyle took that. You got this end route covered. You got, uh, I think that's um, Marlowe down there. I like the fact we where we supposed to be. Nobody's running free. That's what I, now if they just make plays on this, so be it. Like this play right here, you tip your hat to to Hayden Hurst. He made a great play, but that was a great play by Worley too. Sometimes good offense just be good defense. See Steph Curry. Now you got another too high look, but are we gonna stay in too high? That's the question. All right, so they're a two-man route. Two-man route that I see. That I can see. And so you got kind of sort of a bracket here, even though j Mo about to run past um, Marcus Williams. And you got these two over here. This is a great play by Worley. A great play by Worley. Here's Worley right here. Watch Worley go get this ball. Because he ran past Marcus. Now, Marcus might have got back with the way the ball was thrown, but Worley made a hell of a play. He just, he straight up ran past me. That's not going to hit another gear on Marcus. He don't look fast, I guess, till you get beside him. But that's not going to hit another gear. Look at that. He behind both of them. He behind both of them. Worley made a hell of a play. A hell of a play. It was a little underneath him. It was a little on the throne, but that was a hell of a play by Worley. And, I, and shout out to 41, man. Even though Jamal beat him on a, a fade ball, that cat played some ball. See, they got lucky on this one. With slant out against cover three, you're going to beat that all day. Especially how hard we covering them flats. Just got to get it right inside or right behind, right behind uh, Kyle Hamilton. See? That's simple all day because we we trying to make sure we get to these flat routes. That's if they catch us in three, we good. But if they catch us when we in two, he gonna pay the piper. In three, he'll be wide open and have gaps like this. But we sitting in the cover two right here. This Kyle Hamilton ready to knock his block off and then Worley out here on this guy. But we were in three and they they you know they got us on this one. They got us on that one.
Again, here. Getting pressure with four. Getting pressure with four. Oh, hold on. We beyond that. My bad. I ain't no start though. My bad. Didn't realize that. Let me so let me go back. I guess I missed a, missed a couple plays. Just to slant out, maybe. Oh, I ain't realized Malik played. Didn't even realize that. Slant out route incomplete. We'll pick up from here because we got so many plays anyway. Yeah, empty, which they're going to be in a lot. Now, this is what I dislike, showing it so early. Because now, they're so in tune with each other. What if he just do that? The timing got to be right. Now, Queen may not even be going. I just stopped it right here. He may not even be going. He not. And this is what that's what they did. <laughs> that's what they did. But again, now you got to make the tackle. See that's the pro that's the problem. This is this 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 uh fake out is fine and dandy. You gotta get this cat on the ground. You gotta get him on the ground. Cause if you don't, it's a problem. Look at that. Look at that. Simple a three yard route turns into about twenty yards. You gotta tackle. We gotta tackle. Like and, and to even this to me this fake wasn't even wasn't even worth worth it. Stay there. Now he's not an option. Now, when you come up, he's definitely an option. Because Joe see you coming. He ain't stupid. We got to get creative with creative to do. And I'm sure his initial route wasn't that stop route. I'd be willing to bet it wasn't. Give him another two shell look. Two high shell. Look like we're playing cover two. Oh, he missed, he missed Chase. He missed Chase. Hey, cause honestly, and we all know Burrow can do this, but if Burrow throw this ball right there, ain't no way Chuck getting there. Mm, but I like I like what fourteen bringing though. <laughs> I'm telling you, I like what fourteen. This is a different fourteen showed up. Some of Roquan kind of, you know, rubbed off on fourteen. Mmm, that's mm, <laughs> hey. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, one four, one four trying to be about that business now. I hope he can continue and play, you know, like this uh, Sunday, Sunday night. See, we just got to get there. Is that with four? See, we're we getting pressure with four. We just got to finish. See, Joe's ready to throw. No one's open. I like it. I like it. Everybody's plastered. The only option he even really have right now, and he's not looking at it, is T coming across. And look like, I think this is Marcus trying to drive on that. Yeah, Marcus trying to drive on that. So, it's a good job of coverage. Good job of uh, pass rush. Just got to finish. Finish. Just got to finish. Good job of Queen. Now, look at Queen. We always talk about Queen and coverage and whatnot. But it's going to be a scramble drill, and he ain't going to peak. He ain't peaked. He ain't peaked yet. He still ain't peaked. Still ain't peaked. Now he looking because the ball coming. And it's, Hayden Hurst probably gave him some kind of indication with, with, him, with his eyes getting big or with his hands getting ready to go up. That's when he looked. It's a great job by PQ. Plastering his man, not peaking in the backfield, getting lost. Because he could have easily peaked and Hurst would have took off and it would have been a touchdown. Let's keep it pushing. We just got to finish them. We can't. We got to finish them sacks, man. All right. You got Kyle in coverage. Hey, coverage ain't bad. The coverage ain't bad. He at the point where he ready to throw. The only thing really open is, is this right here. And then you still got Worley breaking on it. The only thing really open is that little quick route. We're in position to cover the corner if he go there. Uh, Kyle's in position in phase. Uh, Marlowe's in phase. Um, Marcus is really kind of bracketing in that, you know, to see if he, they cross her. You got Roquan covering the back. We, we're where we need to be. Just can we finish. 
Good, good defense, Pepe. Good defense, Pepe. Again, getting pressure. Who, who's the winning off the edge? Houston over there. New series. All right. They had the corner out. Last series, they missed it. They put it right back in play. Watch. They put it right back in play. So we start off in a one high look, and we're going to shoot the cover two. This is what should have happened on. Um, remember when Tyreek Hill scored that touchdown in week, whatever that week was, and we was complaining? Well, this is what they were trying to do. Have a guy real, real low and shoot him back high, and he didn't. That's what happened. They actually had this guy was over here. And by the time he tried to get over here to help out, it was too late. That's what happened. To see, this guy was over here, and it was Kyle. And Kyle was supposed to be getting deep. I think he lined up in the wrong spot. And Tyreek Hill just ran up the sideline on uh, Jalen Norman Davis, I think, or somebody. But this is the look they were trying to get. But, again, they came back to this corner route, which, and, again, it's open because you got to respect Jay Moore. He's already breaking out. Kyle, you know, is in zone, so he can't really get on that. So it's up to Chuck to close that off. Initially, it's open. Watch Chuck. Boom. And the thing I love about it, look at Peters. As mad as I've been at Peters this year for, for probably trying to protect himself, I love this energy, though. I love this energy from Peters right here. The Peters. Right there, talking to him. Enough to where boy had to stop and talk back. I love that energy from Marcus. Love it. But they hit the, they hit that corner routes because we're gonna be in cover two a lot. Whether it be two man, regular cover two, uh, or trying to start in a one look and look at cover two, we're gonna be in that a lot because of what they like to do. But, but you gotta mix it up. Gotta mix it up. It's right here. Let's see what we got. Cover four, maybe. That's man at the top. But they attacked it. We attacking the flat routes. Whether, I don't know if it's man or not, but when they sit down, we are attacking them flat routes. Trying to take them away. Look look at how hard how hard Bowser gets to, gets to this flat route. Watch how hard he gets to this flat route. I'm telling you, I know that's a point of emphasis. Just from watching this tape, they attacked them flat routes and try to take them away. See, I almost got up under it. I almost got up under it. He wanted to come to that flat route. I almost got up under it. So I don't know how vanilla they were being, but defense was kind of where they needed to be a lot. Yeah, they still won. You, could, you know, we made mistakes on offense to help them out. But the defense plays some ball. It can't go unnoticed. Yeah, now we got Kyle coming again. This time you you drop Kyle's coming over here. You dropping Oway that way and dropping Ojabo here to kind of give you. The thing is with this though, when you do these exotics, they need to get home because they leave you so vulnerable. Like this play right here, it leaves you so vulnerable. Like we didn't get home. Kyle missed. Joe still he's still maneuvering the pocket. And now look at this big open spot you got. Look at the open space you got. Because you only got what? One, two. You only got six guys back here. You only got six. And you, you took a chance and sent, you know, guys from the other side. So now you got defensive end or outside linebacker, whatever you call him, or another defensive end, outside linebacker. And really, this cat just got to find a zone and Joe going to hit him. See, when you had them exotics, they got to hit. They got to get home. Because then you, they open you up to other stuff. See, Kyle, you gotta. You free, Kyle. You can't miss. That little push can't can't knock you off your block. Ah, uh, Calais missed too. I didn't realize that. He fell. Ah, he fell. Crap. Oh, Jabba, what you doing? Touching, grabbing grass? Come on, man. You gotta be more athletic than that. But we're going to keep it rolling. We ain't going to stay on no job over today. I mean, um, all way today. My bad. I meant to say all way. 
And this is what can't this is what they can't do. I can tell now uh who got C Gap? Who all C Gap? Wait a minute, who all C C Gap defender? We don't have no C Gap defender. Unless it's Roquan. He avoided the wrong way. Oh, let me get to the the end zone view of this one. Alright, so you gotta have let's see if we can talk him there. That A gap. Say Queen got that A gap. Say he got that A gap. They got more gaps than we got people. Cause you got that mean Rokorn responsible for this one or this one. And that means uh whoever this is, I think this O way got that one. And then it's an open gap. So they got open gaps. We ain't got enough people. Oh, now they were Marlin. Okay, so now maybe maybe Marlin should signal for him to go inside. Maybe. So Marlin can take this gap. He don't. So Marlin takes this B gap. That's Marlin's gap. But now you still got an extra one on this, this side over here. Because you got a guy pulling. Rokorn sees it. So maybe B gap was for for um Kyle. Maybe. They just had more gaps than we had people up there. They had us outnumbered. And then either way, Roquan would avoid it. Mixon would have just cut the other way. I, I, I like this by Worley. So I Worley just shoot his shot. The good thing is to try to make him turn back inside so the rest of the people can come help. Just don't be blo I like it, Worley. I like it. I like it. If, if Worley would have did that a half a second earlier, he would have probably made the tackle. He probably would have made the tackle. Because T kind of held him and Hurst didn't see him. Had he not take that, that initial step back right there and just came, he would have made that tackle. Or at least made him turn it, turn it in. and wouldn't let him get outside. It's not a bad play by Worley. I think they're going to try to do this a similar play to the top side and he's going to actually make the tackle. I think. Yeah, I think they're gonna do something something similar to the right. He made the tackle on that one. He learned from learned from his mistakes. Now no see, no steps back then. Straight shuffle. Straight shuffle sideways. Didn't take a step back. It's a great tackle. Great play uh, 41. Learn from your mistakes from play to play. I just, they kind of got us on this one. Kind of got, kind of, kind of got Matt, got um, Kyle Hamilton matched up on Boyd, and Boyd's gonna hit him with this, this, this angle, and Kyle's gonna kind of be behind it. And Kyle's got beaten on this route a couple times by different defenders. What I would suggest him do, especially if he knows he got help on the outside, play this thing inside leverage, and that way if he goes out, you got that guy to help you. But with both of y'all with outside leverage. You get you leave the middle of the field. Cause I'm assuming this is some version of man, maybe. I'm assuming. Don't quote me on that. I'm trying to see how they work in the middle of that field. Cause he's taking that. And um, and that could be man or he could just be taking him because he's in his zone. And really they, they really just flood in the zone. But and, and uh, most of the time you see floods on on the outside out here. They just flood in the middle. One, two, then delay. That's all they're doing. They just flood in the zone. So if you got a, a middle of the field defender, he probably gonna run with that. If you got a deep guy, he'll probably run with that post. And then you, you know, it's just it's tough. Especially if we if this is zone, it's tough. Kyle attempted to make a play on it, but he got it, and I think he got it down to the one. That's tough though. Especially in zone. If you're in zone, that's tough. If you're a man, maybe you can kind of put your hands on him and railroad him a little bit throughout the timing, but that's tough in zone. Especially with the, the guy in the middle taking that first crosser. That's tough. All right, let's go to touchdown. Yay. All right, next series. Try to run a little wham on us, which they do. 
It works even better than they thought because Matter BK follows 66. He don't even see 84 coming to women. So it works better than they thought. But when he go down, you got to be there to feel. Whoever, who, who was that? Oh, Queen, Queen went to pull it too. So they reading their keys. If they keys the guard, they went with their keys. <laughs> it's just a good play by uh, Cincinnati. It's a good play by Cincinnati. To pull the, to pull the guy from where you're trying to run to. Or did Joe Mixon just see that gap and hit it? Joe Mixon or P. Ryan might have just saw that gap and hit it. Yeah, I think P. Ryan just saw that gap and just went downhill. <laughs> I think this play was supposed to go to the left. Just look, you got him pulling. You got him coming down. I think this play was supposed to go to the left, I think. And if not, good play by them. Good play by them. All right, we got lucky on this one straight up. No other way to say it. Because we've been jumping these little screens. Kyle and Marcus jumped it. We just got straight up got lucky. We got lucky all the way around. Pump fake. Everybody open. You get open. You get open. Don't forget about him down here open. <laughs> this is what we got to be aware of. The double moves. The plays off of moves. Because we were super aggressive. And they, they missed one on that one. They just missed it. And I appreciate them for missing it. I appreciate them for missing it. Thank you. Again, I don't like us dropping Matter I just I understand why, because you're trying to, you know, you're bringing Kyle off the edge and you're trying to surprise him. I just, me personally, I just don't like it. I just don't. Mm. And uh, on this play right here, all right, Worley's not in bad position. He's not in bad position. Not at all. Still, in, still in not in bad position. Still not in bad. Still, uh, let me start it over. I said that all wrong. He's still not in bad position. Now the thing is, is remember when we talked about Queen a few minutes ago, but him not peeking. Worley peaks. He peaks right here at the ten yard line. He peaks right there. Now again, there's no separation. But now that he's looking back at the quarterback, watch the separation over the next six to seven yards. Hmm, that's a huge difference right there. That's two yards. You went from no yards there. Well, no yards right there. Problem about the 12. To about two yards there. So now uh, J. Moore has a distinct advantage because Word is in oh shit mode. I got to try to catch up. I got to try to catch up. And he just goes over top of him. Mm, that's fine. You know, he made a play. He made a play. The thing is, don't let that play continue to beat you. That's the key. Because they're going to make plays now. They, if you think we're going to completely shut them out, you're mistaken. They are going to make plays. We just got to be timely with our stops. I think this was a busted play. I think. I think it was busted. We'll see. Don't know. We'll keep going. And empty. Give him a two high shell. Stick. Stick versus empty is always going to be good. Especially if it's not man. That's, that's a good concept versus versus empty. And the funny thing is, those of y'all that play Madden, this plays on there. It's an empty set. He run that. He run that. He run over the top. Slant. Slant. For you Madden players out there, this play is in Madden. <laughs> That's a good concept. It's a good concept. The thing is, because if it's man and those guys are plastered, then you got this slant coming across too. Or if that if that's taken with like a, a cover, a hole, a one player, you got this slant on the backside too. So it's a lot of options here. A lot of options. And then versus zone, you get that. You just got to be ready to throw. Got to be ready to throw quick. Again, <laughs> biking people. Watch Roquan. I tell you, we was out there smacking people, man. Roquan, Hamilton, the smacking people. I think Boyd eventually got up, but still. 
Something to think about next week. Or this week rather now. Again, good job. Better job. I ain't going to say good job, but a better job defending screens. A better job defending screens. We are running to the ball. Something that we were not doing early in the year. You see a screen, get on your horse and go get it. You got to backtrack. Got to look at screens. Let's talk about screens for a minute. All right. So obviously the O line is going to try to allow the defense influence the defensive line to rush. We all know that, right? So the thing is, and you can't just not rush, but once you feel that it's not a genuine pass protection or an attempt to pass block you, you now have to turn and you have to haul. You know what to find the ball. We were not hauling. You know what to find the ball now. Watch this cat right here. Once he realizes this screen. For him, that's running. For Big Trav, that's running. And it may look slow, but you know, but that's that's running for those big guys. Oh, it's a screen. Trav almost hits Joe Burrow and gets in on the tackle. For those big guys, that's running. That's retracing is what it's called. The real term is retracing. And you have the D line have to get in and help with the help with the screens. Seventeen zero, and not much of not much at fault of the defense. They for the most part held their own, even though it's seventeen points. Now we playing man versus that empty. I don't like this matchup, but it works when if he's gonna try to be physical. It works with Kyle. When he try when he do his finesse stuff, Kyle gonna get cooked. But stuff like Kyle can defend that. Down the field, all right, not so much. Look at Queen. Queen locked on his guy. Somebody got T. For the most part, everybody's open. The only thing that's really open is if you throw this perfectly, or if you throw this in right right here perfectly. We are where we supposed to be. And look, Chuck, they jumped that. Forget. Forget you. We're we going to jump the guy that's a threat. The real threat. Now, if you catch a touchdown, so be it. Understand, happy, you know, whatever, whatever. But we ain't going to just leave our guy on his island. And I didn't realize Kyle being cocked. So this is a double. Kyle's cocked inside. Chuck's supposed to take away the outside. I just realized that. Because Chuck coming right now. So yeah, that's a double. And they almost went for it. They almost went for it. I didn't realize it at first. Oh, JPP got his hands on it. I know you lurking, Big Ridge. I know you lurking. Again, yeah, another screen. I'm te look. Boom. Come on, Kyle. Get nasty with it. Get nasty with it. I love it. I love it. Get him down. Make sure he's down. That's what I'm talking about. Look at him. Look how many people around the ball. One, two, three, four, five. Five people right there. Two most still running. Calais and Chuck. I'm telling you, man, this this dude right here that just got that money. He has stoked something in him. 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 Uh, and I don't see what where, where, wherever Pat is. He's infused something all of them. They go Pat walking in right there. He got his bag too. Hundred limbs. And they called us a man right here. And a man. No, it's not man. It is a man look. It's a man look. Headley curl route. Now the thing is, they gonna catch these. Tackle them. Tackle them. That's the key. That's what we want right there. Ain't much more you can ask from out of worldly right there. Once he catch it, tackle him. Because the thing is, whoever you put out that corner, whether it be Peters, Stevens, Pepe, he's going to catch the ball on them. We need the guy out there that's going to tackle him. I don't care what cornerback we got. He's going to catch the ball. The thing is, just once he catch it, get him down. Don't let him get yards after the catch. Ooh, they should have cleaned. They should have cleaned this cat up on this one. With him bobbling that ball like that. 
They should have knocked his you know what off. But we're gonna say block. They should have knocked his block off. Look at the communication. Look, watch, watch a queen point it out. And they probably got a call when, when people go inside and whatnot. But watch him point it out. Point it out. And look at look at Roquan. Look to see what's coming. That's communication. Post snap. Post snap. We we wasn't communicating like that earlier. Oh, Worley just missed him. Worley tried to take him out. He just missed him. But I love the communication. Again, they going to catch the ball, even though he dropped this. That's not bad defense from Worley. Oh, Worley stuck his hands in there and knocked it out. Because it looked like he caught that. And Worley knocked that thing out. Good job, Ford. I'm telling you, 41 played a lot better than I thought. A lot better than I thought. Yeah, because he caught that. Oh, my bad. Wrong way. Because he got the ball. He tucks it. Whirl his fist. Boom. Knocked it out. Okay. PBU 41. Okay. I see you 41. At 41 minutes. Dropping everybody out. Who is that plastered? Good job, plastering Chuck. I don't know. This is a kill up play for them. Just hit the check down, get it down. Let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. All right, now, third quarter. Yeah, they're getting pressure with, you know, JPP getting pushed. Getting pushed. Look, look how we're attacking the flats. Look where Kyle at. He's ready to throw. Nobody's really open. We got we got guys underneath, eyes on QB, ready to pounce. Ready to pounce. And immediate guys got somebody in the area. You know, he might could curl up in there and be, be good because you got to curl flat, maybe. You got curl flats. And because of the, look, the, flat, the curl is boxed in, he got to come to the flat. So now, with that being said, this is the shorter throw. Make the tackle. That's all you can do is make the tackle. Got to make the tackle, though. If we made it. Better angle would have probably been for less yardage, but still, make the tackle. They're going to catch balls. We are not going to stop them from catching the ball. The thing is, that once they catch it, get their butt down. And don't allow nothing over the top. Run empty again. See, good, good, a lot better defense. And keep in mind, it's after halftime, they still running their plays. Now, they may not be running some of the same stuff that they're going to run Sunday night, but they still running their plays trying to get their dudes open. You got the double ends, which they love the end cuts. They love the end cuts. Having Queen right here is great because now this ball has to get over Queen in the chase. So Queen really de like making him defend two people. Well, making Joe, you know, kind of look at his options because he's underneath this one. Even though you could throw it up in here, maybe get it caught. But now he's on the same level as T. So this is a good position. Whatever coverage this is, I'm, I'm not sure where Queen for, could be at. You know, we got good coverage up there. Got the flats taken care of, and then that that guy's covered. So for the most part, we're where we're supposed to be. A lot. All right. Kyle look like he coming off the edge. The thing is, now what I would like for us to see is see how he kind of gave it away. Change the play. Change the play to something else. And he did. Okay. Okay. I asked for it and I got it. Now. Another screen, like another screen coming. Watch 14 get on it. He see it. He see the ball being thrown. Missile. Mm. Trust his eyes. He trusted his eyes. He just trusted his eyes. Trusted his eyes. That's all. It takes a minute to do that. It takes a minute to do that. It takes a minute. 
Because it's the NFL and you don't want to mess up. It's, it takes a minute. Playing a lot better football than he did at the beginning of the year. A lot better. New series. Mm, I like it. Look who's flying around the ball. 18 to 14. Look who's flying around. 18 to 14. Look how he get rid of this block. Watch, watch what he do. To, I don't know if that's, that ain't Hayden Hurst. That's probably a little slot receiver. But this is the advantage of having him right here when these little slot guys try to block him. He going to throw him away like the trash. Today is tomorrow, Thursday, throw him out with the trash. Watch this. Get out of here, little man. That's one of the, 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 the positives of having him in the, in the slot. Now, there are negatives, and we talk about them all the time, but that's one of the positives. He just slung him out of there. Move. Almost like mystical song. Move. Get out of the way. You see 18 always doing his thing. Yeah, old Jabo with his sack. Getting pressure with four. Got a sack fumble with four. Need more of that. Gotta have this Sunday. Gotta have his Sunday to help the offense out. And don't look like uh, eight practice today, so <sighs> got to have some of these. Look at the push by uh, JPP. Watch the push by JPP. And then and um, Ojabo just stick to it. He just don't quit on the play. Saw the ball, punched it out. Queen recovered. Got his first sack. At that, at that point in the game, his one sack, he was half of uh, Ojabo's. I mean, Oway sack. Ojabo was half a Oway at that point, even though Oway got a half a sack later in the game. So I think Oway finished with three on the season, and Ojabo finished with one. And Ojabo played 1.3 games, if I'm not mistaken. Oway played them all. Was that third down? Just third down? Second and eight. Second and eight. You got your little crosses. Again, taking the check down. Because when he's ready to throw, he's ready to throw. Guys are where they need to be. And you think, it looks like, man, you think he could throw this out. But he's looking at the QB. So you throw this out if you want to. It's either going to be a pick or he's going to be playing next year. Because of the, the leverage that this, this guy has. Now, he probably could throw it over the top. But you got this guy already hitting the sideline. So we got we got this Taken care of. That's taken care of. And he realized he's just dropping down. Now, this is the part. And I keep saying it. We got to tackle them once they get these short routes. Because Joe's on the 25. If I'm not mistaken, he's going to be well on the other side of the 50 by the time we touch him. Mm -mm. Gave Marlo the business. Running away from Chuck. That's, that's 25, 25. That's 35 yard gain on a three yard throw. Yards out of the catch can't happen. And if if it do happen, it needs to be at a minimal. At a minimal. Are we gonna run for 10 more minutes? Mm, see? That's gonna happen. That's Marlowe. That's our best corner. And I ain't even crapping on Marlowe because Marlowe had a heck of a year. But Chase is just that good. The thing is, is once he catches it, get him down. And don't let him consistently do it. Don't let him consistently do it. Like, that, this is going to happen. That's going to happen to the best corners because Chase is one of the best guys. The thing is, just get him down. Don't let him be extremely. Don't limit those plays. That's all you can do. Limit them. If he, if he had to make them catches all game like that, so be it. So be it. In the run game. And I talked about, I'm glad I saw this. I talked about Reader yesterday splitting double teams. I look at Matter BK. So watch Matter BK in here. Let's give him his props the same way I was giving Reader props. Watch him split the double and get in on the tackle. Have them double teaming. Queen, you're free to do whatever. The thing is, you can't let him get up top. Look at Matter BK holding his ground. He, he, locked, he, locked, he locked in. Holding his ground. Holding his ground. Got all his cleats in the ground. Holding his ground. Now, 
He done split the double team. Now he turned his back to one. And he's going to work on the other one. Now he done split it. Now let me get in on this tackle. Him and Queen working it. That, that's how you that's how you do it. This, this little two-man game right here in the, Oh, my bad. This little two-man game right here in this box is what we got to win. We got to win these. Queen trying to get back to his gap. And when P. Ryan or whoever this is running and sees it, he decides to hit that gap. And now because he's splitting the double, he get in on the tackle. Queen getting in over there because he can retrace. Good defense between out of those two guys. I mean, the rest of the people played good defense too. Just wanted to spotlight them two guys on that play. Especially matter BK splitting that double team. Because I talked so much about Reader doing it yesterday. Good D by Queen. Good D by Queen. Watch out. Look at Roquan attacking the back. Good D by everybody. Okay, Kyle in better position. On that same route that they've been beating Kyle with. Look at him in better position. So I'm saying everybody where they need to be. Everybody where they need to be. Playing two man. Everybody went playing two man. Oh, they call that. That is bull crap on Queen. At least to me it's bull crap. I think it's bull crap. Let's keep pushing. We got eight minutes left. All right, trips right. We get him a two high look. He's ready to throw now. They try to run this stick knot. Stick knot is, and you know they've been doing this all game and going over top. So now they're trying to do that and back toward the middle. That's what they're trying to do right here. See, but we covered it. I, I think this Tampa two and Tampa two Roquan's opening to the 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 strong side, and he just got to wall that guy off. He can't let him get in the middle of the field. See him going out? It's a good job of walling him off by Roquan. Great job of doing his job. Doing his job. That's it. Eyes locked in on that number three. Make sure he don't get inside. Walling him off. Great job. See what, who else doing their job? Tampa 2. You got to come off of this. You got to come off of that because of that out. And he needs to get over there. Because if it's Tampa, if it's Tampa, he got that. Roquan got that. If it's Tampa. But again, most of it's covered. Pass that off. Pass T off to Marcus. You see your, your guy, you know, you ain't covering grass. So you, you're good because you ain't covering grass. But realize it's your responsibility. When he works his way out there, Marlo, come and attack it. Good job by who else was that? Queen attacked that? I made that tackle. That Queen, yep. So again, defensively, we we were signed. And you get pass rush by Bowser. Look at Bowser. Them guys up front need to eat Sunday night. They got to eat. And finish their food. Again, not bad by Worley. Not bad. Not bad. Love the excitement by 18. Love the excitement. Get out the way. Love the excitement. Love the excitement. Let me go congratulate my teammate. I'm making a good play. You just happen to be in my way while I'm, you know, going to help my teammate. Set the tone. 18 set the tone. Good good coverage by Pepe. Even though he caught it. Even though he caught it. Again, we in scramble drill. See, the difference is with Pepe. Look where Pepe eyes at. I don't know if you can see it. But now Pepe looks in the backfield. If he stays plastered to, to a boy, that, that separation right there don't happen. He peeked in the backfield. Boy stuck his foot in the ground. And a... It ain't like receivers can look at you look in the backfield. They just do it instinctively. Sometimes they, you know, they, they make that cut right when you look in the backfield. It ain't like they looking at you and be like, oh, he looked in the backfield like cut now. It just happens instinctively. But if he don't look in the backfield, he's closer. And he probably break that up. I ain't gonna say he pick it because of where the ball's thrown, but he probably break that up. Or at least get him out of bounds before the ball gets there. Just 
This little peek in the end zone. That's, I mean, at, at the quarterback. Run set. Oh, that was pass. Good play action. Fooled me. All right. Now they got guys running open. This is what we don't want. <laughs> now they got guys running open. <laughs> you got this guy probably finna go vertical and take the safeties. Then you got whoever this is coming across here. That's what I think is finna happen. But, but, we getting pressure. That's the key. We getting pressure. And we still hitting people. And we still hitting people. Good jam job by Worley up top on one. Good jam. Just don't let him run free. Good job, Worley. Good job of not letting him run free. Now, if this is cover two, don't you shouldn't let him get outside behind you either, Worley, if it's cover two. If it's cover two. But good thing is, this guy running this vertical in the middle, he took both safeties. Worley playing eyes. Worley's playing Joe's eyes. He's seeing ready to throw. And he see where the ball is going. So he just take the shot. Clean shot. Definitely a clean shot. It's what, it's what needed to be done. It's what needed to be done. Keep in mind, it's a clean shot. You know what? I'm going to end it right there. We're going to end it on that good play. Um, despite what people may say about our defense, them cats play ball Sunday. Um, it's going to take this effort plus some in order for us to win. Uh, while I was recording this, I see that eight didn't practice. So um, we got our hands full. Uh, you know, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow, if he practices tomorrow, maybe. But um, defense is a tall task ahead of you. Do I think they can do it? I think they can hold up. Do I think they can hold up enough for us to win? I do not know because I don't. I'm not confident in how many points we can score. I'm really not confident in the amount of points we can score. But um, you know, looking at this defense, I was happy with the way they played. Um, the, and these the starters are still in, so maybe they ain't running the same plays that they're gonna run um, Sunday night. But they trying to get they trying to work on something. Like right there, he missed T on that one. They trying to work on something. So, I don't know who is going to be at that spot, whether it's going to Pepe, whether it's going to be Worley, whether it's going to be Peters, whoever it is, once they catch the ball, tackle their butt. And don't let none of these plays happen. No, no, limit the explosive. Make them drive down the field. Make them hit those five, three, two-yard routes and run out of the catch. So, with that being said, man, this is my second long-form film of the defense. We got to about the third quarter, but they had the ball way, way longer than us. So that's why I couldn't get the same amount of time to the defense that I gave to the offense. And again, that their offense didn't do much after this. Their offense, offense didn't do much. You know, we we made some plays defensively, was running around smacking people. And I just like what I saw, especially after looking at the All-22. I, I was kind of okay because most of those points came off turnovers, watching it live. But looking at the All-22, guys are where they're supposed to be in coverage. We got pressure with four. We just have to finish and get those sacks and limit their yards out the catch. And that's going to end it for me right here. I appreciate you guys for coming through. Second long form film of the week. Um, I'll hit you with a preview um, probably Saturday morning. And then, um, you know, we'll talk about these other games on the other channel. We're going to talk about all the playoff games on more Sip the Tally. So if you have not followed that channel, please do so. Please do so. Please do so. And if you're still here after 59 minutes and 30 seconds, Please hit hashtag pay eight in the comment section. Hashtag pay eight in the comment section so I can see who stayed all the way through. I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Peace and y'all have a good night.